Well, hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I am here with the one and only Bree Diving on Instagram. Uh, she is uh, my free diving buddy out here and actually the first person that I ever went diving with uh, in California. So we're just going out now. We're going to punch that way. Uh, it's actually a, lo a lot colder than we, it's so we cold. <laughs> anticipated. So uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll get in the water. Maybe we won't. We've got wetsuits on. Well, we're going to go in the water. Yeah? I think so. Uh, it's 57 degrees in the water right now. We'll see. I mean, I'm good with the cold. You're the one that's normally scared of going in cold water. But anyway, the plan is to go check out some of our dive spots down in Laguna, which normally we access from the beach. But now that we have the Sea-Doo, we are going to jump in from the water. I went and got an anchor rope last night. I have an anchor. I got all the proper boatsman things. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, Stay tuned though, because it's pretty gross and cold. So maybe we'll just ride around and yeah, just have a good time. But Hopefully the sun comes out. Yeah, would be nice. So uh, yeah, let's head south, see what it looks like. Oh, do we want to say hi to the seals? Hi seals. I know. This is 20 feet right here. You can see, I can see a shadow. So this house here on the corner, that, I believe from what I've told, is owned by Mr. Gucci or Mrs. Gucci. Whoever, yeah, whoever owns Gucci lives in that house right yeah. there. Yeah. So, and it's funny because when you look at it from the road, when you drive up here, uh -huh. it looks like the house is by itself. It just looks like it's out on the rock by itself. And then when you see it from this angle, there's like tons oh, of other houses. Yeah. I think that one's cool. The one with the... Oh, yeah. Looks like something from Thunderbirds. But this is the beauty of having the fish finder is that it means that we can kind of like cruise in nice and slow. Take, an, uh, take a look at this. You see all these little fishies swimming around. So we're in 44 feet of water. Lots of fishies. So like I was saying in the first video, if you've seen that, this is made for people that want to go fishing, but it's also perfect for people that want to go free diving because we can see exactly where the fish are, exactly how deep it is. So the first time I came south, I was like ripping and then all of a sudden I see like all of these little floats, all these little boys or billies as you guys call them. Billies. And um, yeah, they uh, apparently they're lobster pots. So they go all the way down, um, 112 feet. There's some fishes right there. But yeah, it's like a, literally a minefield of these things. So you have to be super careful riding through that you don't end up running them over or getting tangled up in them. Look at the babies. Let me see. Ah, oh, little ones. So this is Crescent Bay. This is the first place that we're going to check out. So we are, oh, okay, we're 26 feet deep now. We were 17, but that must have just been that big old kelp frond. Um, but yeah, there's kelp right here. Um, so we normally access it from the beach and we come out and we kind of swim, swim in this it. area. But um, we could maybe drop the pick here and jump in and see what it looks like. Uh, it looks pretty, pretty cold. Um, not really, there's like a couple. Yeah, so there's definitely kelp below us because it's like, keeps telling me different depths. It's like yeah. 20 feet, 35 feet. Oh, so Bree is moving to Colorado tomorrow. So yeah. this is our last opportunity to go diving. So I was like, let's go on the, on the sea dude. Let's go and do it. And then, yeah, got up at five this morning. It was cold, overcast. Still cold and overcast. <laughs> but we're here and that's all that counts. Alrighty, so I have an anchor. I'm not afraid to use it. Last night I learned how to tie a bowline knot which is this one that apparently is good and is gonna keep this anchor in place, I hope. So if it doesn't, then it means that we're gonna go float somewhere else. Beep, beep, beep. I've never done this before, so let's hope for the best and don't let it get my feet. Oh no. Oh, what the, how on earth has that done that? This is ridiculous. Brie, <laughs> why is this like this? Do you want me to try it? No, I've got it. I'm the captain of this sea do. Okay. Aha! Oh, we got it. Oh, Jesus. Let's oh, that's it. It's in the bottom. Okay, so how do we know that it's like doing its thing? So what I'm gonna need you to do is get your wetsuit on and then just drop down, make sure that the 
pick is in the sand properly, and then I'll hop in and we'll go over there. Okay. I mean, it's a beautiful day here in Southern California. You guys, so you guys can see why I moved halfway across the world to live here for this gorgeousness. You are now on my mask, and so the audio might be a little bit crappy, um, right. but. Uh, so yeah, we're here, and uh, we're in about 25 feet. I've dropped the anchor, but I want to go down and check it, just to make sure, because it's the first time I've done it, so I want to make sure it's okay. Seems like it is. The line's pretty straight going down there, but we'll go swim down and just make sure that we're uh, where we need to be. And then yeah, go and see if there's any fishies around. Is that a baby lobster? It just came up off the road. Here, climb on this. I think it's a baby lobster. Look, is that a baby lobster? I think so. Oh. I'm gonna hang off the edge. Hey, buddy. Go on then. There he goes. It's chilly. Seagrass is the bane of my life. Not when it's in your intake. too bad. I think it'll be uh, it'll probably be better once we get in. But like, I can't see the... Hold on, we're in. Alright, so you do stay there. Don't go anywhere. Be a good sea doo. Be a sea doo, not a sea don't. dive spot was pretty cool. Um, visibility, once you got down, was all right. I did find treasure, but then I came up, breathed up, and then couldn't find it again. I know. But it was, it was glasses. It wasn't anything crazy. It was just some glasses that I saw. So I think we're going to go... Yeah, there was tons of fish. The big, 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 big sheep's head down there. Fox Garibaldi. Yeah. I think the find of the day so far is that baby lobster that came onto the boat. Yeah. So we're just gonna head south. Uh, there's some other dive spots down here. So we're just gonna check them out, see what it looks like. And then, uh, yeah, we'll start punching back home soon. 
So I was just saying to Brie, because we're going to head back north because uh, it's getting late. And she's got to move to Colorado. Uh. Um, but I was like, maybe we'll find some dolphins on the way back. And literally, as I said it, these guys came and showed up. So these ones are the white-sided Pacific dolphins. So they have uh, like a short, stubby nose. They don't have the long nose. And they're super playful. Some treasure! Wow, this is like typical fisherman fun. Oh my god, that is disgusting. Ew, they look like. How old are they? I mean, it's been in there a while. Look at this Smells like a. The inside of it. That's been in there a while. It looks like a. Like, like, <laughs> 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 yeah, you can have that one. That's my parking gift to you. And there you go, just like that, the sea is loaded up, we are back. And the sun has finally decided yeah. to come out right as we get back. But um, yeah, that was fun anyway. And um, I appreciate you coming out and actually coming for a little dive. <laughs> yeah, I was just so saying, fun. it's nice. We The first time we met, we went diving. Now she's off to Colorado. So it was nice to be able to get a dive in. Because we haven't, we haven't been diving for a while, have we? Yeah, it's been a few months. So I think it was short, um, not short, it was Crescent was the last time. Yeah, before the road trip, right? Yeah. Yeah, a while ago. So, yeah, give uh, give Bri a follow on Instagram. She does a lot of, like, traveling, camping stuff with her boyfriend, and uh, they have a good old time. Um, yeah, and then hopefully you guys will see more adventures on the Sea-Doo now that I've gone out and I've kind of faced my fear of jumping in the water from the Sea-Doo. I was a little bit worried, I'm not going to lie. sharks. I kept talking about sharks. <laughs> I was a little bit worried about sharks, but there weren't any, which is good. Um, a lot of people do ask me, they're like, are you worried about sharks? I'm like, yeah, terrified. Really? <laughs> terrified, yeah. Um, but yeah, so that was fun. Definitely something that we'll be doing more of. Uh, and obviously going over to Catalina as well. That is next on my agenda. So stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this, guys. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, give this big... Get, get, <laughs> if you have enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up because that really helps with the whole YouTube algorithm thing. Subscribe because uh, I'd love to see you here again. And remember, until next time, don't know anything I wouldn't do. See ya.